In this video, I'm going to be showing you not one, not two, but three approaches to modeling water with topo solids inside of Revit. Let's go. Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours dedicated to all of the interesting and complex topics inside of Revit. Now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit, and as you can see, we have this cool uh, console house with an actual chain. And I actually have tutorials for both the house and the chain, uh, which is an adaptive family. So if you want to check those out, I'm going to be leaving links up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. So you can check it out if you would like to model something like this. And now here I'm going to be showing you the first approach, which is to model the bottom of a body of water as part of the water uh, geometry, I, I guess you can call it that. So basically what we have is we have this uh, topo solid that goes all the way down into the ground, basically here where the water should start. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move to the site plan just like this. Here I'm going to go to massing and site, go to topo solid, and instead of choosing water, I'm going to choose this one, water 2000 millimeters, but we can see here in the little preview image, it has some earth down at the bottom. If I go to edit type, go to structure, you can see we have water first as a finish, but then on the bottom we have some earth. This is what we want for this first approach. So then I'm just going to click OK, OK again, and then I'm just going to place it by creating a rectangle. I'm going to go a little bit inside of this topo solid, just like that. So create a rectangle. Let's go to the 3D view, hit finish. Now, obviously it's in the wrong position. So let's go down to one of the elevations, like the east elevation, here we go. And then I just want to align the bottoms here. So let's go to the move tool and then I'm just going to move this from up here to down here, just like that. Now here we're going to get this warning saying that we have a topo solid overlap, that's good. We want that, so I'm just going to hit escape. And now we can go back to the 3D view and this is what we have. So now we also want to join these together so we don't have this overlap. So you do that by go here, going here to modify. You go to join geometry. You first want to select the part that you want to keep in its entirety. So I want to keep this slope going all the way down. So first click on the main topography and then on the water. So now if I hit the escape key a couple of times and select this, see, this was kept and then this was cut to get that effect. And now here in the 3D view, it doesn't really look perfect. We don't get that effect. However, if I were to create a section running through this thing, just like this, so let's open it up. Uh, what you'll notice here, if I switch this to fine level of detail, yeah, so we're going to have that earth running down. So we have the effect that we're looking for, change this into shaded. So yeah, we have that water there. Now it's annoying that you can't get that in the 3D view. However, there is a workaround. What you can do is you can turn on the section box and now you can cut into that a little bit and you can keep that section box in place and then it's going to, well, show that desired effect and you can even hide the section box if you want, yeah, to get this effect. So this was the first approach. Now for the second approach, we're going to model the bottom of the body of water uh, as part of the main topography and then we're just going to be adding the water. So let's now go here to massing in sight go to topo solid. Here I'm going to again pick out water 2000 millimeters, go into edit type. Then here I'm just going to go into structure, click on edit. Here I'm going to delete the main layer or the, the water layer. And then this earth layer I'm going to change into a water layer. Double click here on water and then change the thickness to 200. Click OK, apply OK. So we have basically the same uh, topo solid, it's just completely water. Then let's go to the site plan. Here I'm just going to create a rectangle, 
like so. Go to the 3D view, hit finish. Now here, uh, I'm just going to go don't attach, get rid of this. And now we again have to move it. So let's go to one of the elevations, east elevation, and just move this down like that. Again, it's overlapping, that's perfectly fine. Go to the 3D view, and now again, we have to make the cut. So for the cut, you go here to hit the escape key a couple of times, go to modify, go to join geometry, and then select the main terrain first, and then the water. So the main terrain is going to be cutting the water. Hit the escape key a couple of times, and this is what we get. So as you can see, with this second approach, it's much better in the 3D view, it looks much better, much nicer. I prefer uh, this approach. So yeah, this is the second approach. Finally, for the third option, and uh, that's for creating a pond like this, you want to have kind of an indentation in topography like we have here. Then we're going to go to Masking in Sight, go to Topo Solid. Here, I'm going to pick out water again go into edit type and then go into structure and make the same changes as we did before. Then let's click on OK, hit apply, OK, and now let's open up the site plan and then here I'm just going to create a simple rectangle like so. Hit finish, we have an overlap, that's OK. Go to the 3D view, now we're going to give it a height offset of minus 50, let's try yeah, perhaps minus 30 would be better. Yeah, looks good. Uh, then I'm just going to switch this to wireframe for a second so I can see everything. Then let's go to modify, go to join geometry, select the main topography first, then the water. So it's going to switch like this. Then we can go back to realistic and it's going to look like this. Now also, if you like these trees, these realistic tree families, you can find those on BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link them up in the cards above so you can check them out there. Now finally, one more thing that I want to show you is how you can create kind of a different uh, finish for the, the sand that's here in the middle. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to use subdivisions. So that's this option here. However, a subdivision is added as an extra layer on top. So my kind of approach is to select the topography, go into edit type, go into structure. Now here we already have this sand as kind of a mid finish or substrate. So let's just delete the grass just like this. And then we can increase the thickness of this to like 20. That's okay. Uh, then let's click OK, apply. Okay, so now this is all sand. And then what I'm going to do is go to the site plan, select the topography, go to subdivide. And then let's create a subdivision for everything else to be grass. So I can just do it like this. And then we can even use a spline if we want. And I'm just going to kind of follow the the contour lines here. So something like this. So just like that going all the way around. Okay, now you don't want to finish this as a spline. So you want to switch to align, and then use the tab key to connect it here, go back to the 3d view, hit finish. So now we have that subdivision, then you want to switch this to grass here in the materials. So let's just search for grass. Perfect. And then make it thin like, I don't know, like three centimeters or one even hit apply. So this is what we get. So we have grass, then it kind of goes down and switches into sand. And then here we have water in the middle. So that's the third approach. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want to get access to all of my Revit project files, you can find those on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above, and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.